So have you ever wondered what would happen if somebody combined a keyboard and a GameCube controller? This. This is what would happen. Thanks to Brilliant.org for sponsoring this episode. Hello everybody and welcome back to another video. So this right here is something that I've been wanting to get my hands on for a long time. The GameCube controller and keyboard hybrid that was released exclusively in Japan back in September of 2002. For 6800 yen, which was around 55 US dollars at the time, you could pick one of these up for use exclusively with Fantasy Star Online episodes 1 and 2. For those unfamiliar, really quickly here, Fantasy Star Online is considered to be the first online role role-playing game for video game consoles. With it being a Sega game, it was first released on the Dreamcast back in 2000, but versions were later released on the GameCube and original Xbox after Sega shuttered their home console manufacturing division. Making Fantasy Star Online one of the very few titles to take advantage of the GameCube's networking capabilities, and this keyboard was created to be a sort of replacement to the Dreamcast keyboard that players could use to more easily chat with others online. But instead Instead of just making a standalone keyboard accessory, Nintendo decided to basically stretch out a GameCube controller and plop a keyboard right in the center. Which is definitely unique to say the least. And if you didn't have this, you'd have to settle for using the on-screen keyboard that most players here in the West had to deal with because again, this was a Japanese exclusive item. But if you wanted to even play this game online in the first place, you'd have to pick up the GameCube's modem or broadband adapter. Whereas the Dreamcast already came with a modem pre-installed in most regions. So assuming that you were a GameCube player with a copy of Fantasy Star Online and had a modem or broadband adapter and were either living in Japan or were willing to pay to get one of these imported to where you lived, here's what you would get. The box itself is pretty straightforward, pretty basic looking. You've got an image of the keyboard right here. You've got the Fantasy Star Online logo down here at the bottom, just to let you know that that's what this was designed for. If you're wondering, the GameCube controller portion of this keyboard works just fine with any GameCube game, but the keyboard portion only works with Fantasy Star Online. People have tried to get it to work with Animal Crossing and some other games, but it's just, it's just not compatible. So you can't use the keyboard portion with any other game, but if you were buying this, you were buying it for Fantasy Star Online, most likely. Uh, so, you know, it wouldn't really make sense for you to purchase it otherwise, unless you were a collector, uh, like I sort of am, because that's pretty much why that I bought this to have in my collection and to showcase on this channel. So, if we open it up here, we have the uh, warranty card here. I am missing the instruction manual in here, unfortunately, but it would come with one of those. So, I'll just briefly show you what we got here. Pretty basic warranty card. And here is the keyboard itself. We'll go ahead and take out the card cardboard thing there and here it is now this one has definitely seen uh, better days it's still in great condition but you see it is uh, very yellowed so this has to be retro brighted and I will say using this definitely takes some getting used to because you know I'm used to the way that a regular GameCube controller is uh, with all the buttons being much closer together so it definitely is uh, a little bit wonky to use at first but you know I've, I've been messing around with it with a couple of GameCube games and it's not really uh, that bad once you get used to it. This was actually manufactured by a different company. You see this ASCII logo up here? This is not the standard. ASCII was the name of a Japanese company that manufactured this keyboard. There was also a later version manufactured by Sammy. Uh, it is pretty much identical, but it was sold around the time that Fantasy Star Online 3 was out. But both of these keyboards, although they were manufactured by different companies, were actually able to use the same buttons that would appear on a first-party GameCube controller. So you really feel right at home. I mean, you got the, the same exact grips here. Uh, the buttons are all the same. The button layout is the same, with the exception of, of course, the start button here, uh, which normally would be in the center. They had to move it somewhere because of the keyboards there. So they moved it over here to the left side, which actually works out really well because you can just move your left thumb here to hit the start button whenever you need to. Uh, but yeah, you got your shoulder buttons up here. You got your Z button. It's all exactly the same as, uh, you know, a, a regular GameCube controller, just with a keyboard in the center. And the key keyboard itself is definitely really crammed and tiny. These keys are super small. Um, I was kind of just doing some test typing on it and I found myself like pressing two keys at the same time. So it definitely like this is far more of an adjustment than the GameCube controller portion itself. One last thing that makes this different from a regular GameCube controller is that it actually has two connectors to plug into the controller ports on the console. So the blue one here is for just the GameCube controller port 
portion and the white one is for the keyboard so if all you want to do is use this as a gamecube controller which again is all you're going to be able to get out of it in most games anyway all you have to do is plug in this blue uh, connector to your gamecube or your wii or your nintendo switch using the usb gamecube adapter which yes it works fine on that we'll test that out later on in the video as well so yeah that's the unboxing let's go ahead and try it out with some games all right so i figured we'd hook this thing up to my nintendo wii since we've been doing a decent amount of wii stuff on the channel recently and we're going to pop in a classic mario kart wii right here since the game is compatible with gamecube controllers so it'll have no problem recognizing this one so we'll pop that in and here we are and you can see if i move around it works just like a GameCube controller. I'm gonna try not to say that like 50 bajillion times throughout this video because I mean, yeah, it just, it's a freaking GameCube controller. So it's gonna work like a GameCube controller. I just said it again, uh, but we'll just go to versus here. We'll do maybe like one race. I don't know if even that, um, let's pick a uh, standard bike and uh, just let, let's see here. Oh, wow. This isn't even a completed, like, <laughs> this is a, a different Wii than the main one that I typically use. So, like, nothing's unlocked. Uh, let's just do uh, Peach Beach. That's a, that's a classic. Let's just do a little race here. That's not the, that's not the boost pattern Mario Kart Wii. I'm so used to playing Mario Kart 8 Deluxe recently. Um, but, yeah. It, <laughs> I will say, I mean, playing Mario Kart with it is, uh, Kind of bizarre because like I'm just not used to this much space being in between like the two edges of the controller but you can see it's totally doable controller works flawlessly no issues at all and I'm not doing too bad here third place on lap one I mean it's not terrible oh yeah Oh, you thought so, Wario, but no, 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 you ain't passing. Oh, actually, maybe you are, because I just drifted off into the grass. But yeah, like I said earlier, you feel right at home, uh, you know, if you've used the GameCube controller to play Mario Kart Wii. But yeah, so that's Mario Kart. We'll go ahead and just quit out of that. And uh, we're going to go ahead and plug this into my Nintendo Switch, because I do have the USB adapter here. So all we have to do is just uh, plug it into controller slot one, and we'll plug this into my Switch, and we'll get some smash brothers going on this is definitely the most obnoxious thing to use this controller for like i can just imagine somebody taking this to, like a smash tournament and like this is the controller that they pull out of their bag to play with uh so we're gonna start here gosh it's been like a while since i've played smash um so oh my gosh i remember all these <laughs> all these rule sets uh i'll just do four stock and but yeah i mean here <laughs> it's just it's so like oh god it's so obnoxious um but it works Let, let's just select uh you know what let's go with a uh, random just leave it up to chance and uh i'm going to select kirby because i'm a kirby main say whatever you want to say and uh we'll just have one rando and let's see what we get uh okay little mac uh, on what stage ah okay okay i can live with that um, so yeah, it's just, it's, <laughs> it's just so obnoxious. I mean, I know I've already said that like 10 times, but like, geez, man, it is, uh, it, it, again, takes some getting used to, but it's not terrible. And we can play Smash here and hopefully not die. I am also positioned a bit awkwardly. So if I die, that's going to be my excuse. I'm definitely going with that. Cause like, I've got the, the controller in front of me and the screen I'm, I'm, you know, looking at is off to my right side so i'm kind of you know positioned a little awkwardly but hey look at that of course this guy's like a level three so this is not really gonna be much of a challenge at all but i mean yeah it's 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 smash just with a freaking gamecube keyboard controller and uh yeah <laughs> what what I mean what else is there to say about it wow he just like <laughs> of course little mac doesn't have the greatest recovery Wow, that was pretty awful. Let's see if I can just knock him off the edge again. Oh no, you don't. Oh no, you don't. Get over here. Yeah, you just fell right into that one. Or I fell right into you. You just stayed there and didn't do anything. Again, he's, he's a level 3, so... What do you expect? Oh, wow. 
Oh shoot, he's got he's got oh well he just wasted it. <laughs> he just wasted his knockout. There's game. That's my first uh, game of Smash Brothers with this controller. I actually did not play that. I wanted to save that for uh, just doing it on video. But yeah, I mean, that's that's just, uh, again, the most obnoxious way to play Smash. Now, I know you guys are probably saying, why don't you try Fantasy Star Online since that's the only game you can actually use the freaking keyboard with? Well, here's the thing. I tried Fantasy Star Online with this thing. I hooked it up to my Nintendo Wii, and I used the Nintendo because I don't have a uh, broadband adapter uh, for my Nintendo GameCube, and luckily Nintendo can uh, emulate one of those for us because there is actually a uh, Fantasy Star Online unofficial server that you can connect to and, and play online with other people to this day. It's super awesome. So I went through the setup process, connected to it, it worked out fine, but the keyboard did not work. I could not send messages using the keyboard at all, which was really disappointing. So I began to think that maybe Nintendo doesn't support the keyboard functionality of this controller, but I found a post on Reddit where somebody said it does. So then I thought, okay, maybe there's a problem with this unit itself, like hardware-wise. So I took it apart to see if there was a cable that had come undone or just a loose connection somewhere, and everything looked fine to me. So I really don't know. I'm throwing this out there to you guys. If I anybody's actually successfully used one of these controllers with Nintendo on the Wii uh, to play Fantasy Star Online online on that custom server, uh, be sure to let me know. And speaking of knowing, have you ever wanted to know more than you already know now? I think that covers pretty much everybody. Well, today's sponsor, Brilliant.org, is perfect for you. Brilliant's interactive courses make it super fun to learn about programming, computer science, statistics, and so much more. Yeah, I just said statistics, and statistically, if you're watching this video, you probably have an interest in tech. So why not check out the How Technology Works course, or the one on Computer Science Fundamentals? You know, a while back I actually tried out Brilliant's course on Electricity and Magnetism, and was really pleased with the amount of visuals and interactive modules that I found myself wanting to come back to continue progressing through the lessons. The best part is, you can try out all that Brilliant has to offer completely free for 30 days by heading over to brilliant.org slash michaelmjd. And if you're one of the first 200 people to do so, you'll also get 20% off their annual premium subscription. So be sure to check them out, and huge thanks again to Brilliant for helping me buy more stuff from Japan. Well, there you have it, guys. That is a demonstration of the lovely Japan-exclusive ASCII keyboard controller for the GameCube. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up, get subscribed, all that good stuff. And if you really enjoyed this, and if you want to get early access to my future episodes, I do have a Patreon down below that you can check out. But either way, I just want to thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video.